welcome back to my channel. It's Simply Jessica here today with, I think we're going to do two super cute DIYs. Okay, so first one, and again, easy peasy, as we know, right? First, first, first. These are the glass candy jars, I guess, or just jar from the Dollar Tree. I picked up two this size and two this size. So these are a little bit smaller, these are a little bit bigger, right? The lids are different. You have a silver lid on the bigger ones and a more wooden lid on the smaller ones. So we are gonna get two of each, which I already did. And on our top ones, we are going to make some super cute snowman faces. You guys know that I'm not confident in my face making. So I did these before hopping on. <laughs> okay, again, not perfect, but super adorable, right? So we, that's it. That's all you're gonna do there is you're gonna draw your snowman faces. And that's gonna be, that's gonna be that. We're gonna take our bottom jars and we're gonna open them up. You're gonna wanna make sure that you wash these out and let them dry as well. And we're gonna make, take our Swiss mix packets here. These are going to be the super cute hot chocolate and marshmallow little gifts. Now, you could buy a big pack of them because I don't think that they're all gonna fill this, to be honest. But we're gonna start with the smaller one and dump in our packs into the little jar here. We'll see how much we get out of the packs that come with this. And if not, we're going to do this another way as well. So I'll show you two different ways that you can do this. You could dump it all in here. That one kind of seems like it needs to be mushed up. <laughs> just keep dumping. I'm just going to dump all six packs in here. And now it's definitely not going to fill it, but that's all right. But you can also... We're just gonna dump, dump, dump. So you need to get yourself like a nice big um, container of the hot cocoa mix so you can fill these little jars. But look how cute already. Or, let me move those out of the way, get the other box. Or you can take them, take the packs, and you can just stuff the packs down here on the inside and you can just have the hot cocoa part down here just like that so you could do that you want to straighten them out so you could fill this with just the packs or you can dump it all inside like so once you have them all stuffed inside, just replace your lids. So this one here is with all 12 packs in it, okay? Just gonna replace your lids, and then we're gonna just take some black paint, and get some over here. Just some black paint. Hold on. Let me get this out of my way here. There we go. And we're just going to add three of them down the front. So we have our little buttons, our little snowman buttons. And we're going to do the same here, but this one, I don't know. We're going to try three. Yeah, we'll be fine with three. Right down the front and we have our little buttons. going over these a little bit. We're just gonna set those aside, let those dry, right? Move that out of our way. Then we take our top. We're gonna unscrew our tops. And we're gonna get our marshmallows. All right. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And we're just gonna fill, whoa, our little snowman with some marshmallows here. 
and make it a mess. There we go. And that didn't even use the whole bag. But I just wanted to do them in two different sizes to show you. Just push those down in there. So we have some hot cocoa and marshmallows. We're gonna stick that back together just like so. And then you're very easily just going to, let me drop you here just a little bit. There we go. So you're just going to attach top to bottom. That is it. We're gonna use a little bit of hot glue here. Come on, what's going on? You gotta move quick with these and get that on top there. And look how stinking cute. You can get some ribbon, which we're gonna do in a moment. Same thing with this guy. Get our hot glue on there and just attach. Let me turn him around real quick. There. Look how stinking adorable. I love it. I'm just gonna grab some ribbon. We're gonna add a little bit here. All right, two different things you could do here. Do not mind the mess in the back room. <laughs> you have these cute little bows here from Dollar Tree. You could very easily just take that out and give it a little bow, which we'll do on one. Let's see, maybe we'll do it on, yeah, I think we're gonna do it on that guy. Get your hot glue. I just need to turn, I'm sorry. And just glue that on there. Stinking adorable. Or get yourself some ribbon. And your scissors. You know, I have everything and then I don't have it all. All right. And just cut your piece off here. You don't need a lot. But I'm going to fold, fold mine in half, and we're going to go around like that. So I'm just going to measure here, so just about here, and we're just going to add the hot glue around. way. Oh, my bow fell off. <laughs> so we're going to add the hot glue here all the way around. Add a little bit more on this side and all the way to the back. <coughs> Excuse me. So look how cute. We're gonna fix the bow. What happened there? I guess I didn't give it enough time. Spin it around. And now I gotta just hang on to it nice and tight. Okay, now with this one, you can take your little leftover piece here You don't need a bunch, but you could stick it through. You don't even need to be. Just going to cut this off a little bit here. My scissors are not so great today. You could stick that right through to make up the little, you know, dangly things off the scarf. <laughs> okay. There they are. Now, you can always get yourself um, plastic wrap, put it over top, tie it up here, put a little bow. That's probably what I'm going to do because I'm going to make these and hand these out this year. So I am definitely going to be plastic wrap, plastic wrap or bags, tie it off up here with a little bow, pretty much probably with the same ribbon that matches. I think that's super cute. But both ways I like it. So you can either do it, like I said, with the cocoa open 
or with the bags of cocoa inside. This gives it a more white on white look, more snowmanny, snowmanny, and then this way. But I love them. I think they're so stinking cute. But we're gonna move on to DIY number two. All right, now moving on with the same thing. This is the bigger plastic version of the candy dish. See, candy jar. This is the bigger plastic version. What we're going to need to do, just take off the top. And, I don't know what that was. We're gonna remove the stickers, like so. Thank goodness that they are so easy to come off. Sometimes, you know, it could be such a pain in the tushy. But these seem to be going very easy. Grab ourselves some oh, little disposable paper. We're gonna use some nice white paint. And we're going to need, if I can open that, this is Snow White by Apple Barrel. Get some of that out. I already have paint on me, well from before, but now I have paint on me more. And we're just going to grab our large dabber. And we're gonna paint all around this jar except through the circle. We're gonna leave one circle wide open. Other than that, we're gonna go to town and paint this candy jar. Now the bottom can stay unpainted. You can paint it if you would like to, but you do not have to. I'm thinking probably two coats. When you get to this outside, you're just gonna go nice and easy around it, just not filling it in, that's all. I like to dab, I get a lot more coverage this way. And we're just gonna make this entire thing beautiful and white. Now again, because it's a DIY, you can choose whatever colors you like. I'm just going with white. Because that's what I'm going with. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? I'm not paying attention. Now, easy thing is too, if you get a little on that inside of that circle, why it's still wet, it comes right off. Oh, I was going to say that was the bottom. That's not the bottom. But you just go nice and easy around it. As we get a little bit, it's okay. And we're just gonna paint, paint, paint. And we're gonna go all around this bad boy. We're probably gonna end up painting this. I'm going to assume twice, just to get like a nice, stick my hand in there, a nice full coverage. We're gonna get up in there too. Right, how easy, how cute. I say cute, it's not even done yet, but to me, this is adorable. But we'll paint the bottom since we're here. <laughs> Last minute decision there. And then we just very carefully go on this side and get in there around that circle. So we're gonna leave that circle empty and just very carefully get in there. And that's it. With this part, see, that's it. we're gonna leave that part go. So I'm just gonna dry this, probably, I'm going to assume we'll need coat number two. So we'll be doing coat number two, and I'll be right back. Two coats, lucky, lucky. And I forgot to mention, paint the lid, okay? Because <laughs> I forgot. So we're just, next step, we are just going to get some Mod Podge. We're gonna pour some of that on here. Get me a nice little paintbrush. And oh, I'm going to grab one more of these sheets here. And we're going to add some glitter. 
All right, <laughs> paintbrush, Mod Podge. You're just gonna go around, nice, healthy amount around the edge. Nice, healthy amount right around the entire edge of the circle here. Doesn't have to be perfect, guys, but just covered, okay? All the way. We're going to go up here. Come around. And then meet there. And while that is wet, I am going to take some absolute gorgeous gold glitter. You can get your glitter from anywhere. I don't even remember where this one came from. You tell me, does the tag look familiar? <laughs> I don't know. So you can get your glitter from anywhere. And we're just going to dump this on. All on our, all around. Dump off the excess. There we go. And just clean it up a little bit here. a little. See, it's good because you can just kind of use your finger a little bit. Sometimes if you have too much Mod Podge, why it's still wet, you can just rub your finger around it and get rid of some of that. Just like that. I may have to clean this mess up, which I'm going to. Clean off in here. But look how beauty Full. So we're just going to clean up this glitter, which this was the purpose of this, but I'm a dingle and didn't put it down, but that's fine. We'll clean it up. <laughs> okay, so just took a baby wipe, cleaned all that up around there. All right, let's bring it down just a little bit here. So look how cute. Next, we're going to take the fake snow and we're going to dump this right on in here. I'm just going to dump a whole little pack in and turn it around so I can see it. And then just spread it out like that. And then we're going to take some fairy lights. And these we're going to wrap and use a little hot glue. Let me plug my glue gun back in here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to wrap these around the inside of the lid. Just kind of untwisting here a little bit. So we're just going to get these in here. You can leave them like this. Put a little hot glue to kind of keep it in place, including your little battery pack, okay? Make sure they still work. They do. I don't know if I want to go this bright. I might. <laughs> okay, while I wait for that to heat up, I think I want to switch these out for more of the kind of like, I guess, maybe yellowish light. So like the warmer light instead of the brighter LED lights. So actually, that's what I'm going to do. So before I even make that stick in there, I'm going to switch it out with the warmer lights. Okay, so that's all it's gonna do. You're just gonna wrap them around in there, glue down that little sucker. And this is where, again, you get to pick whatever you wanna do. I'm making this very simple. I'm going to take this absolutely gorgeous gold Christmas tree from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to place it down in the center in that snow. Now, you can add a little hot glue there if you would like, let's bring you all the way down here. Not all the way down there, but right here. And you would just add the lid. So then your lights shine down on that and light that up. Hard to see because I have the light on, 
but I can turn this off, darken it here, and just look how gorgeous. And it doesn't take a lot. It's just something so simple. I did. Gotta put those in there better. Um, <laughs> so simple. <laughs> Except for my flaw right there. Now you can glue this guy down in there if you would like. Just kind of find your center. Glue him in there if you would like to. And look how gorgeous, right? Just something so simple and so pretty. So I'm going to move this over to the side so you can see it better. Okay, guys, so there it is. Now I have the warmer lights in there. I just kind of felt like I went with the gold a little bit better. You could put the brighter LED lights in there if you would like. You could also do a different color lid if you wanted to. Looks like I need to go over a little bit spots with the paint. Everything looks very, very covered, except for kind of around the neck and some spots on the lid, but that could very easily be taken care of. But like how stinking gorgeous, right? All right, now let me put our cocoa guys up here and um, that'll be it. And there are our little hot cocoa presents, our little snowmen. I think they're adorable. And as you saw, minutes, that's all it takes, right? And how stinging cute. I think this is adorable to give somebody. I absolutely love it. I hope you do too. And until next time, bye now.